Welcome on in, everyone. We are back, the cousins. This is Beer Talk with Kyle and Joe. I'm Kyle. What is going on, guys? I am Joe. And welcome back for another video. Thank you so much for being here. So today we are going to be doing a review on a brand new company. Really excited about this. We've just been testing this stuff out recently. And it is Magic City Beard Co. Um, just a real little bit about the company. The owner's name is Mike. Uh, Mike is out of Miami, Florida. And what's really special about this stuff is the oil is made with ostrich oil. Now talking, what? Just never heard of uh, ostrich oil until now. <laughs> okay. I'm like, did I do something wrong? Are you going to yell at me? No, keep going. <laughs> <laughs> so it is made with ostrich oil. After talking with Mike, the owner, he said he was using this for his kid. I think he said his son and for uh, to cure his eczema. And he said it worked really well on the skin. So he, he was a big beard fan. So he wanted to go ahead and try it out in beards, tested it out. And that's just kind of the foundation of how this began. Yeah. So as always, if you are joining us, please make sure you hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell, so you're not missing any of our future content. If uh, this is your uh, first time uh, joining us, welcome. And if you like what you see, please make sure you spread the word about us. We want to make sure that our knowledge is not only hitting your beards, but all the beards around you. And uh, stay tuned after this intro, and we will be right back. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get started here with the price and presentation. So for a one ounce oil, you're looking at $23. For a two ounce balm, you are looking at $20. And for a four ounce butter, which looks a lot bigger than four ounces, you're looking at $30. Now there's no question, these prices are definitely over the market average but ostrich oil does tend to be more expensive. Mm -hmm. And of course, in the review, we'll go ahead and get into if we feel that these are worth it. Right. You agree, Joe, on those prices? Yeah, I think the, I, yeah, I think you nailed it. I don't think there's anything else I need to add to that. So gotcha. I will kick us off with the presentation and let's go ahead and start off with the oil. So the first thing that stands out, and this is something that caught my attention uh, when I first saw this company on Instagram, I didn't even read the name first because the first thing I saw was the picture. And that was of this bottle right here. Yeah. And as you can see, this is a very, very unique looking bottle right here. So when you look at like the height of it, it, it it's definitely shorter than a normal one ounce bottle, but the width is definitely thicker and wider. And one way that I definitely can, can tell that obviously besides looking at it is if you look at my shelving over here, um, though this bottle doesn't actually fit in, in the rack. So it's definitely wider. It's a little bit, a uh, little bit fatter, but the color of it is really cool, really unique. Uh, the label is nicely secured on. And what's amazing is, is that, uh, and we always appreciate, he, uh, he's got the scent profiles on there, which is awesome. Yes. Um, yeah. So why don't you, if you want to show off the uh, butters and the bombs. Yeah. Yeah. I love seeing a company, especially a new company that has the scent profile on the bottles. Like you said, totally appreciate that. So this is what the two ounce balm looks like. Love the black bottle with, of course, that same label. That orange just really pops. Yep. And got the standard plastic screw off. No issues there. And that's what that looks like. And then this big old boat, like I was showing before, is the butter. Mm -hmm. And again, plastic screw off. And this just looks like an eight-ouncer, honestly, which wow. is awesome. So... All right. So that is the price and presentation piece, and we will dive right into the, all these scents. So we have five different scents uh, to go over. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and get us started. And the first scent that we are going to talk about, uh, we received in both the oil and the balm, and that is none other than South Beach 
and I'm trying to turn these together and it's not working. <laughs> Easier than it looks or harder than it looks. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. And then there you go. So, all right. Uh, the scent profile is a fresh citrus cologne. So when you, uh, so when I get a good smell of this, I definitely get the fresh, the freshness right off the bat. This is definitely something that is, uh, you know, is very tropical to me. Um, I, I guess I would uh, definitely, I, I guess I would identify it as a cologne, uh, but I definitely get that fresh and citrus uh, for, for sure. Um, because of that citrus, this was definitely a scent for me that didn't uh, last all that long. Uh, but I really like the freshness that, that, that came with it. What about you? Yeah. Uh, to me, I thought it was good. You know, nothing, nothing crazy. I uh, didn't love it. Didn't hate it. Um, I, I would call it a cologne. I would have liked a little more cologne mannish scent kind of musky out of it. Um, mm -hmm. Picking up a little bit of the citrus. One thing that was unique is I'm not picking up any, sometimes you can just, if it, even if it's just called citrus, you can tell it's an orange or it's, you know, it's an apple, whatever, lemon, um, not picking anything like that up, but overall I thought it was pretty good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How long did it last for you? Um, so they were pretty standard across the board. This one lasted the least. I only got about an hour, I would say may, maybe okay. two out of this one. Um, uh, you know, like you said, a lot of citrus scents don't last a while. Okay. Yeah. And I was about the two hour range, uh, myself. And I did find the, that the bomb was, um, it was the same scent as the oil. Uh, right. but even with both of them together, I still only got about two hours. So. Uh, definitely a, a, uh, a lighter scent. Right. Um, yeah. So going on to the, uh, the next one uh, we have here is called the Atlantis. Okay. And uh, this scent is a mysterious oceanic oud. And I believe on the website, if I'm not mistaken, he actually identifies this as his most subtle scent. Um, and yeah, I would actually agree with that. And when I smell from the bottle, I actually, I really do enjoy it. And um, I'm a big Oud fan. So when I do see Oud, I get really, really excited. And I was actually a little disappointed that that this was um, the most subtle scent. Uh, when I think of Oud, I really like like that stinky type Oud that's really going to kind of stick around for a while. I didn't really get that too much. And I think that is because of that oceanic, you know, type uh, blend to go with it. Um, so I would have liked for the duration to be a little bit stronger. But when you're smelling it initially, I thought it was a very enjoyable scent. Yeah. So um, this one was probably my least favorite out of all of them. Um, one thing I will say is as far as a oud it, ocean type of scent, he did nail it. It smells like an oud ocean. It's just, I think the ocean and the oud together just for me, wasn't really getting it done. Okay. Um, I could definitely see a lot of guys liking this. Now it is interesting. I felt this one was a little more stronger than the citrus cologne. Uh, which is funny because I know you just said the opposite, but I got a little more scent duration out of okay. this one than I did from the citrus. Okay. Um, but like I said, if you're into the ocean oud type scents, I think you would really like it. Just not my, my style personally. Yeah. I guess what I'll say, cause I don't think, I don't know of any other like ocean oud together. Right. So, right. you know, I don't know if many people will actually have that experience. So, um, but yeah, I mean, if you put those two together, it is something unique, but for sure, a little bit longer last and would have been cool. So uh, do you want to start off with the next yeah. one? Yeah. So the next one here is Little Havana. And this is a, uh, I guess you'd call it like a cigar blend. It is Cuban cigar, amber, whiskey, clove and wood notes, which is really cool. Um, now I'm not traditionally a cigar guy. Mm -hmm. Um. But if you are, I think this is nice. What I like about this one is I can definitely pull out that it's a cigar scent, but I don't really pull out any of the other ones. I actually like that. I like when scents tend to really blend together. Um, overall, I would say it was, it's pretty good. If you're into cigar scents, I think you'll really like it. Like I said, I'm just okay on them. Um, but this one definitely lasted a little longer in beard for the other ones, which I really liked. 
Okay. Yeah. So I was, uh, I'm probably a little bit more excited about this scent. Um, you know, I actually, I'm, c- certain cigar type scents and tobacco scents are really starting to grow to grow on me a little bit more. I'm very 50, 50 on them. I really know like what I like when it comes to cigars and really what I don't. This is something that I would classify on the list of cigar type scents that I actually really like. I okay. did, I didn't get the uh, Amber too much in it, but I definitely got a good hit of that whiskey and what he did a really great job of and I so much appreciate is the fact that he didn't make the whiskey overpowering and he also didn't make the clove overpowering when I saw the clove I was initially like no I I, I (laughs) thought he was going to ruin this scent with the clove clove is one of my least favorite scents uh out of you know any profile but all of them together was really nice and this is definitely something that's very very unique and really quick on the website each of these scents kind of tell a story on how these scents represent that part of like Miami or Florida Mm -hmm. um and that this one definitely has one of the most intriguing stories behind it so I, I really liked it and I really got the fit for it so I good scent for me awesome and definitely the longest lasting actually for me All right. And I'll go ahead and get us started here with our next scent. So this one was probably my favorite. I really enjoyed this one. This is the Key West scent, which we have in the butter, as you can see. And this one is listed as mango, coconut, lime, pineapple, sugar, and more. So as you can see, this is a really fun scent, especially in a butter. Um, It's exactly as advertised. Um, here's what I'll say. I don't really pick out any individual scent. Maybe the pineapple I pick out a little bit, but overall, this one's just very pleasant. It's not over fruity. It's not over sweet. It's not over beach. Like it just, it just blends together really nice. And I would almost say for how um, loud the the profile is, Mm -hmm. it's on the subtle side, but like I said, I really enjoyed it. This is probably my favorite scent, maybe tied with our next one. Go ahead, Joe. Okay. Yeah, man. And I, I, I think you nailed it you know, pretty well. I was able to pick out the, the mango, pineapple and coconut individually. Okay. Um, and then also, I don't know what the more is. I really don't, but I am able to pick it out if that makes sense. Like I can tell that there is something else with it. Um, one thing that, you know, that I really appreciated, and just like I talked about the, um, you know, our last scent, Uh, and the clove, I was really happy that the coconut was not overpowering and that it didn't take over. A lot of times when you add coconut, it's just one of those scents that just bullies the others. And it really didn't on this case. So I really thought that all these was just about evenly, evenly blended. I didn't really get the sugar too much, uh, but all the citrus uh, type scents and the fruits and all that stuff, um, you know, really went well. This was definitely a unique scent that I really enjoyed wearing in bed, and I'm really, really happy that we got it uh, in butter. Yeah. All right, let me go ahead and kick off our next one here. And I don't want to butcher this one, so I'm going to put it on screen first. Vizcaya. Vizcaya. I keep saying Vizcaya. Yeah. So Vizcaya. So this one's really cool. Again, either um, Key West or this one's my favorite. Liked them both a lot. Lavender, orange, eucalyptus, sandalwood, chamomile, and vanilla. That's just an awesome profile right there. Uh, I pick up because they're so, they're so strong. You pick up the eucalyptus and the um, chamomile right away, but I feel like that vanilla just blends everything together and kind of calms everything down. If you're someone who likes minty scents that kind of, you know, tickle your nostrils a little bit, this one's right up there. But yeah, I really enjoy this one. It's a great day or nighttime butter or scent, I should say, all all together. Do you agree, Joe? Yeah, this was my favorite scent out of out of the other ones. Um, you know, I really enjoy the lavender um, and the eucalyptus uh, smell of it. Absolutely, a per, uh, I would say a near perfect uh, nighttime scent. It's definitely in that spectrum. Um, I currently, you could probably hear it in my voice. I currently have a stuffy nose. So I'm probably actually going to put some of this in uh, once we're done recording this um, to kind of help me clear up my nostrils a little bit. Um, the one thing that was unique was, it was the sandalwood. I was able to pick out the sandalwood quite a bit. At first, I wasn't sure how I felt about it. I, I didn't really see where the sandalwood fit. But the more I wore it, the more I actually started to appreciate the uniqueness that the sandalwood brought. And now I would say that I've really grown to like it and not mind that it's there. But definitely, if you're not a sandalwood fan, 
if you're like me, you might pick up on it a little too much. So I don't know if this would, would be a scent for you, but it is definitely worth trying because of how unique it definitely is. Right. Yeah, that's interesting. That's what I love about beard products. I don't pick out the sandalwood personally. I just think the, the eucalyptus overpowers it. Um, but that's really, that's a good take for sure. Mm -hmm. Yep. All right. So let's go right into our favorite and most important segment. And that's none other than feel in beards. All right, guys. So the segment that we've been waiting for, so excited to talk about this one. Let's talk about feel and beard for this unique company with this unique product. So we're going to go ahead and kick it off with the oil here. First thing I want to do is go ahead and read you guys the ingredients. So we are looking at ostrich oil, which is the star of the show, of course, coconut oil, shea olin, argan oil, and jojoba oil. So pretty standard oils, obviously, except that ostrich oil. If you're wondering right off the bat, the bat, what the heck is ostrich oil? It's very similar to emu, emu oil, um, except it's a little thicker, um, maybe a touch more sticky. Um, that's, that's pretty much the overall gist of it in hand, in beard. But I want to go ahead and show you guys what this looks like. It's got that cloudy, milky look to it. Like I said, if you've used um, uh, emu, oil, emu oil before, um, it's very similar. Um, so how did this feel in my beard? So I thought this felt amazing. This did such a good job. It absorbed right into my skin, right into uh, my beard, obviously. Um, one thing I will say is this felt, it got my beard really soft. Now for some people, if you have a very thin beard, it might make it feel a little too thin. But for me, that's out of my vocabulary. I have a naturally curly beard. I heat my beard every day, but these type of things happen. As you can see, this oil got my beard soft and sitting down the way I like it. So for people who might say this might not be an everyday use because I have a thinner beard, this is what I'm looking for. So I, I love it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, you know, the one thing about uh, that I know um, of like ostrich oil compared to emu oil is that really the ostrich oil, um, it's, it actually penetrates into the skin a little easier than the emu oil does. And that really does have to do with like the concentration of the omega three, six and nine fatty acids uh, that, that are, you know, with it. So that is, you know, one thing that is like a, a difference between the emu and ostrich oil. Now, when it came to my beard, did I notice like a significant difference, you know, between a product with emu and a product with oil? My honest answer is, is no. Um, I didn't know, uh, I didn't notice a significant difference, but did my beard feel really, really good? Yes. My, uh, all capital letters, Y-E-S. My beard felt absolutely amazing putting in, uh, you know, these products. And maybe, you know, as I start to wear, wear this uh, company even more, maybe I'll start to notice uh, that, you know, a little bit of a difference when uh, between this and the uh, ostrich, or I'm sorry, and the emu oil. Uh, but right now the difference isn't too much for me. What I really noticed the difference is, is when I had it in my hand, preparing it to work into my beard. So Kyle was absolutely right when he, when he mentioned that it feels a little thicker and that it feels like a little bit stickier. But as you work it into your beard and as, as I work it into my beard, I was just blown away on how thin this oil actually was. And it was so easy to spread out and comb through. Um, I, it's, I mean, I can't explain it as, as being like any other oil that I've tried. I was really worried about how thick it felt in, in my uh, hands, but by my surprise, I was just completely blown away on how easy it was uh, in my beard. I absolutely love the uh, feeling and I give it an A++. Wow, awesome. Yeah. Good to hear. All right, so let's go ahead and talk about the beard balm. So for the beard balm, we are looking at Shea butter, beeswax, mango butter, ostrich oil, coconut oil, shea olean, organ oil, argan oil rather, and jojoba oil. Mm -hmm. So a lot of people say, I want my butt, my balm to be firm. I want my butter to be softer. If that's you, this is the balm for you. This is a very firm balm. I loved it. Mm -hmm. So that's what it looks like there. 
It's very white, very kind of, kind of like a standard, almost looks like a butter. Um, I did get this out with my fingernail, but really you want to use a pick or like a penny or whatever um, to get it out. And if you're, if you're doing a, a good amount, um, cause it is very firm. Now, mm -hmm. this is the only one, uh, I guess I could say the only balm that has this kind of hold that did not weigh my beer down at all. Don't ask me how Mike pulled that off, but I have a big, heavy beard. When I use balm, I put it over the top and then I'll go under with it all the way through. My beard still had that beautiful shake like we all like, but it held those flyaways down all day. Mm -hmm. One of, if not the best balms I've used. Yeah, um, I'm probably going to uh, make a bold statement and say this is probably my all time favorite balm that I've put in. Um, and that's, you know, that's a pretty big statement. And again, you know, we are two guys with very long beards that still use balm on a pretty regular occasion. So that, so the balms, when we review these, these are very important to us. So, you know, I really, I really, really love this balm. Um, I appreciate the fact that this was a balm that had the firmness that it had, but still produced such good nourishing features throughout the day. Um, yeah, and I mean, I, I can't figure it out either. When I first felt this, I was like, oh no, this is about to be concrete on my face. I know for a fact I'm not going to like it, but I gave it a chance and I've been wearing it uh, consistently. I really, really enjoy it. Um, and I thought Kyle, I'm right there with Kyle on everything else that he had to say for it. Right. Maybe we're not supposed to know how Mike pulled that off because it's magic. Moving on. So when we're talking about this four ounce tub of butter, so the ingredients in the butter are shea butter, mango butter, um, and then ostrich oil, coconut oil, shea olein, organ, argan rather, and then jojoba oil. Um, I absolutely loved this butter. Um, I, I've heard from the very few reviews, some, some mixed reviews about it, that things I just completely didn't agree with. Um, and that's fine. That's the point of doing reviews. Everyone's beard is different. This uh, butter is like pure cream. It was so soft, but it did have a little bit of tack to it that held down my flyaways, but it made my beard super soft. I want to go ahead and show you guys how that looks. I mean, your finger runs through it, just a little bit of effort, but it is so creamy. Just gorgeous. Joe, did you uh, like it as much as I did? Um, I did really enjoy the butter. Um, you know, I definitely agree with you on the creaminess. It is definitely super creamy when I, you know, when I look at it and I feel it, um, it, you know, when I, my initial take is, wow, this is definitely my kind of poured butter for sure. Right. Um, the one thing that it took a little time getting used to was that tackiness. I know exactly where you're coming from when you say that. And I 100% agree. So when you get that tackiness, I feel like you do have to work a little harder and work a little bit more carefully when it comes to working it in your beard. When you have that tackiness, if you're somebody that does shed, you know, a decent amount of beard hairs a day, which is a, which is normally a natural thing, a tacky beard butter like this can assist with that shedding if you're not being careful with it. So that is why I'm, I, I wouldn't say that I am blown away by the butter, but I did really, really enjoy it. You don't need a whole lot because it spreads quite easily, yeah. which means that this big boy is going to last you literally, I mean, it, it's going to last a long, long time. So, um, and he jams, pack, he jam packs this. It's, it's yeah. crazy. It's hard to imagine that it's only four ounces, but <laughs> I would say that the butter was probably my least favorite out of the three items just because of that tackiness, but I still really, really enjoyed it. Almost loved it. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. I, I felt there was a little bit of tack. It didn't, to me, it didn't really stand out compared to any other poured butter for the tackiness. It just melted down so easy in mm -hmm. my hand, but the way it's going to react in my beard is definitely going to be different than the way it reacts in your beard. Yeah. That's why we're here to give it a review. Um, so guys, question to leave you with, this is a brand new company. So I'm assuming if you're watching this video, you probably haven't tried magic city. What do you think? Well, how did the ostrich oil look to you? What do you think of some of the scents? throw us some comments, some feedback? I know the owner, Mike, 
um, definitely the kind of owner we like. He, he wants feedback, whether it's the good, the bad, the ugly, which is really appreciated. So I know you haven't tried these yet, but based off of what we're telling you, what do you think? Throw a comment below. Um, we do have a discount code for you, uh, non-affiliate, no kickback to us, just to save some money for you. It's either Beer Talk 10 or Beer Talk 15. We'll be sure to throw it in below. Joe, do you remember which one it was? Um, you know what? I'd have to double check too. Um, no so yeah, we'll make sure that it's pops up on the screen and also yep. located in our description for you. You can't miss it. Definitely take advantage right. of it while it's right. So yeah, if you um, know someone who loves beards, who you think would love these products, go ahead and share the video it would be much appreciated. Um, but Overall, I think that Magic City is going to boom. I really do. I think this is a company that's really going to take off and they're coming at an angle of something different, which is really appreciated and really needed if you want to be successful in the beard game. Do you agree, Joe? 100%. You killed it. Awesome. All right, guys. That's all the time that we have for you today. But as always, keep it growing. And we'll talk to you at the next one. Cousins out.